Everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast, 4th of July weekend. Happy birthday, America. Larry here. And Anthony here. And what's going on? Episode 190 of the podcast. Episode 190. And yeah, and you know, uh, celebrating, you know, Independence Day Absolutely. weekend Love and it. everything. And I see that you dressed for the part and so did I. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Well, I I did. Um, and uh, thankfully, this is only from the chest up because it's been a little while since I wore this shirt. <laughs> Long well, while. Let's, let's just leave that there. <laughs> Pre-pandemic. Um, oh, so, man. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so we're here. Fourth uh, of July weekend. Hopefully everyone at this time, by the time you listen, had a safe, wonderful Fourth uh, of July weekend. Hope everyone still has has their fingers intact and yeah. um because for what we talk about you need your digits yep and yeah I, I can definitely say even though we're currently in fourth of july weekend not after fourth of july the weekend that my weekend was really busy <laughs> yeah it looks you're missing did you get robbed uh yeah i got yeah i definitely got robbed you can tell behind me no no <laughs> things are coming down because anthony is like, once again on the move oh boy anthony you, you are wait, uh, okay um i don't know how much you can you can uh spill about it but are you at least staying in the borders of california I am not. Oh, um, okay. I, yeah, I'm not going to get into much more detail. Fair enough. That, but, fair enough. But I, I will say that uh, after five five glorious years this time around, five years in lovely, sunny, hot, <laughs> well, traffic filled, smog filled Los Angeles, um, I, I am calling. Yep, yeah, I am calling it a day, or calling it a city, or calling it a time. Yeah, uh, and I will be vacating the premises. All right. Well, good luck. And not by force. <laughs> no. Well, that's good. Trust me, you don't want to be kicked out by force. Been there, done that. Yeah, no, I am voluntarily leaving. Uh, I'm off to a new adventure. Okay. Uh, I will not be saying what this adventure is just yet, but uh, right. it'll be it'll be related on a future date. But the bottom line is lots of changes coming up for me. Awesome. So that's why my background is bare. And you may my um, my attendance to our podcast may be a little spotty for the next few weeks because I'm moving really, really quickly. Well, that's just so. not not professional, but whatever. Well, well uh, as, and speaking of not professional, where were you last week? I was busy, thank you. Mm-hmm. Right. I was getting a haircut. Look at this, finally. Oh, uh, yeah, you probably should have left it. Oh, it was, <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, what? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> You'll have to play it back. I uh, The last time I got a haircut was the second home game of the, NF, of the XFL Guardians way back in March. So wow. this thing was overdue, and I got to tell you, it was... It was phenomenal. <laughs> I loved it. So uh, the last haircut I had, I gave to myself, and hey. it's still and it's still growing back. It is doesn't, still doesn't look bad. That was pretty. So, yeah, yeah. You just one week you had hair, and the next week you're like, screw this. Uh, yeah, I just <laughs> oh man, I didn't. I, I remember that exact. I had insomnia that night, and I just looked <laughs> in the mirror and I said, I'm done. <laughs> like a scene out of Full Metal Jacket. Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, before you leave, though, make sure you get some sort of nice souvenir from Barcade LA. Oh, yeah, that's true. I should swing by there. And I'm not 100% sure if they still have your T-shirt. Probably not. I don't know. I, well, the problem is the bar, the bars are still the bars well, were open. Now they're closed. Again. Oh, that's right. They they closed again. All right. Yeah, well, we have to reclose. Our numbers aren't gotcha. so nice. Yeah, so, well. um, yeah but, it, you know, it happens. <laughs> uh, I would like to, though, because I still have a bunch of Barcade tokens in my car. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. I didn't please email. I have tokens in my car, but they're in like the quarter slots. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just filled them up, and I think nice. so, so. I have a ton of quarters. Well, in any event, uh, before we get into the gaming part, there is one other thing I just want to uh, present to you, and just to show you and mm -hmm. the world, um, because I got this, and I actually I thought it was really funny. So, part of my everyone is aware of my pop vinyl collection. Addiction. Uh, which is now at, a, I think, about 312. Mm -hmm. um, not dollars, but units. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they're still coming in. Um, 
Yeah. In fact, I'm going to get a starch. Rem- no, I did that last time. I'm going to get a uh, wonderful reminder of the uh, how 2020 started when I get my Australian wildfire uh, pop nice. vinyl um, uh, commemorative whatever. Uh, and then in November, I get the first responder pop vinyls. So, <laughs> so then I'll continue to remember how things went. It's whatever. In any event, I just got a pop vinyl that I think is an untouched category. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not really related to gaming, but I think some of you will enjoy this. It's an unclassified uh, 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 category that I'm going to consider as the meme category. Okay. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. Oh, no. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> not only not only not only is that pop vinyl allowed, or at least according to me, but I kind of want one. So it's the, it's from um Entertainment Earth. It's an exclusive limited edition. It is Spider Man versus Spider Man two pack. It is from the sixties cartoon. Yes. From the sixties yes. cartoon, the epic meme of yep. Spider Man and Spider Man. Yeah, I kind of need that. It is as, and this is for the YouTube. Uh, they can see it, but for the podcasters, it's basically the exact same uh, figure. There is a slight difference in their pose. <laughs> okay, uh... but I, I this was fantastic. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I have got to order it. Yeah, you know, I th- I, I already pulled it up online. I think this is com- <laughs> I think well, damn it, I, where am I gonna? Mail well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I need you have to set up PO boxes between you and wherever you're going. <laughs> or I'm just going to ship it to somebody and be like, "Hey, this That's box true. coming, it's mine." Um, Stranger, I, they should be doing more memes because that I, I love that when that came in. That, that is, it's the that best. is fa- no, that is fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I might. I think I might have to just get that. <laughs> so that's a good yeah. one. And be on the lookout because uh, I think I will be starting a pop vinyl uh, podcast very soon. Yeah. And, and, you know, for a while, I wanted to talk to you and oh. maybe set up an interve- intervention about your pop vinyl addiction. You sound like my mother. It is a collection. People collect. Addiction? Uh, that about is your pop vinyl? Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish my okay. sentence, Okay. Okay. I, w- I was going to have a discussion with you about your pop vinyl collection until I packed 11 moving boxes full of video games. Wow. 11. Good Lord. Yeah. That is a lot. It's See, a lot of video games. That is, that's why, I mean, I got a lot behind me, but that's why you go digital sometimes. Yeah. No, 11 boxes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I how many? Know, I mean, most of them are retro. I was going to say, but how many of those are systems? Uh Oh. Did you not even pack the systems yet? No, wait, I don't know if I counted the systems. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. I love no, the it. the systems are separate, but, like, uh, I have a lot of, bo- uh, for my syst- for my newer systems, I have the original boxes still. So I just put them oh, okay. back in the original. Like, my Xbox One, PS4, yeah. Wii U, Switch, I have boxes. Do you still have the original ties, the original little plastic yep, bags? everything. Because when I take, when I open something, you, now when I open something, because you know me, like, with my video mm-hmm. games, I keep the receipts. It's, like, in the <laughs> box, I keep everything that comes with it, including the twist ties and everything not that i reuse them they're in there um and the receipt so i know where everything is um but uh no i mean i think i packed one or two boxes of like consoles which are like the minis and stuff like that and then i've got bins with consoles in them but then i have moving boxes now with the games and i'm like just pure games that is ridiculous it's insane that is awesome don't get me wrong it's great, but I'm like, yeah, it's not great when you're moving. Uh, it's like, <laughs> God damn it. I was like, and then I opened up one of the things, and then I opened up one of the, because I have these cabinets that hold all my games, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I packed them all up, and I'm like, all right, good, I'm done, and then I'm like putting the boxes in a corner, and then I open up the cabinet again, and I missed the, I missed part of it. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm not even, so I have, a, a, like, box number 12 still has that. Oh, you still it. have to pack some more. Uh, just one more. Okay. Just one more box. So, so, uh, or so you think. <laughs> <laughs> you can you know what you can do you can set it up like in the wizard when they just set up the nes in the hotel yes. room and playing turtles so you can wherever you are you can just oh, no, set no, it no, up no. and like, play uh, i've no i've already decided like the the ps4 is coming in the car with me for the drive <laughs> so wherever i stop i'm hooking up the ps4 because i gotta play i gotta play wherever you may roam 
Wherever, yeah, and I roam a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it was, it's only been five years. I thought it was a little more than that. No, for this it, stay, for this go around. Uh, no, for this stay. I mean, yeah. before I was here for like, I was here um, Man, for a while. I want to say eight, about eight years huh? when I moved the first time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so eight years then, five years now. And five years, by the way, in the same location. Which, which is, is lot, wild. Which is great for me. Yeah, no, if you know Normally, I move like every six months. Yeah, so, if, if you know them, you know that is a huge accomplishment. Yes, I think I'm finally growing up and establishing roots. So. <laughs> Except I'm leaving now. Okay. <laughs> so those roots are being severed. The tree is dying, and he is leaving. Oh for- God, I killed the tree so many times. Let's move on. Greener passages. Uh, all right. So um, I do want to make one thing. Uh, because yes, last week I wasn't uh, here. Rich, thank yes. you very much for filling in. Yes, um, thank you very much, Rich. It was a great conversation. Wonderful episode. I and you're right. You know, I was listening to it, and you are exactly right. I was very upset that I wasn't available, but that's okay. That was your fault. That things happen. Mm-hmm. I was getting. I, I should have called you while I was getting my haircut done. Right. And uh, <laughs> and um, I do want to just chime. I'm not going to go into details or anything like that. But I want to give you my two cents as far as my favorites of the uh, collections. That you two talked about right. last franchise week. Franchise favorites. That yes. was what we talked about. Yeah. So I'm just going to just go through it real quick um, in no particular order. Uh, Mortal Kombat. I got to say Mortal Kombat 2 uh, definitely mm-hmm. was my favorite of the series. Understandable. Uh, Mega Man. Uh, I think we're all in agreement. Mega Man 2. Yep. With three very close behind it. Yes. Three very, is close. very close. Mm-hmm. I can agree with that. Uh, Legend of Zelda. I am going to. Uh, I don't remember what Rich said. Uh, but Rich said link. Rich said link to the past. He did. Okay. And I know you. You were Ocarina, right? I went Ocarina. Yeah. I'm going original. OG Link's Awake. No, 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 no. Link's no. Awakening. Oh, original on the Link's Game Awakening. Boy. On okay. the Game Boy. That is fair. Which, again, that and Link to the Past, almost depending on how I feel, do tend to switch. But for the most part, it was just something about that Game Boy game that was just fantastic. Um, Super Mario Brothers series. Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, for me. That's what, that's what Rich picked as well. Tomb Raider. I... I never got into Tomb Raider, so I don't really, I don't have a pick for that one. Okay, so, that's fine. Um, just to- Although, I'll tell you right now, um, on PlayStation 4 Plus this month for July, Rise of the Tomb Raider is one of the free games. I think I got that on Stadia. Okay. I got to double check, well, though. I know, but you can just get it. You can just access <laughs> The I guess PS4 I could. games, when they're, when they're free, you just, you know, you just click the buy button. I know how it works. To download them. You just add it to your library. <laughs> it's weird. I don't weird. know if you know. It's weird. I have no problem repurchasing the same game seven times, but if it's free, I only need one copy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Castlevania, uh, first and foremost. Well, yeah, no, no, no. Stop right there. We already know it's Castlevania 2. I was going to say, anyway, I wanted to reach through my screen when I was watching it on YouTube and listening to it through my speakers on regular podcasts for the, anyone who says Castlevania 2. Um, for me, it's Castlevania 3. Always has been. Okay. And yeah, that one always fair. will be. Uh, Metroid. I'm going to go to the Game Boy Advance and say Ooh. Metroid Fusion. Oh, I thought you would have gone Super Metroid. No, no I never. I haven't played Super Metroid yet. Oh, right. And Metroid Fusion, I played to the bitter end... And then the memory card got got That's wiped, right. and I never went back to it. So, And finally, for Sonic, this is going to shock some people, because I don't think this really was as popular, but I enjoyed the core gameplay, plus the really cool mechanic of the lock-on technology, Sonic mm-hmm. and Knuckles. Oh, yes. Uh, no, I, I can understand that. I really enjoyed Sonic, and I thought that story yeah, that was good, and the game was good. So, so there's cool. my picks. And Super Contra, because you did mention Contra, so i got to mention that. Oh, that's right. We did yeah. mention Contra. Uh, all right. So for this week, I, um, you know, it's 4th of July weekend. Besides the festivities, uh, a lot of sales going on. So mm-hmm. I did hit, uh, because my uh, holiday weekend started a little early. It took a couple of days off. Um, started early by going to Game On. Very nice. And boy, oh boy, I think I did pretty good. So... Uh oh. So I'm just going to talk about some stuff here and then some other things uh, that I've finally been able to be in the presence of. Uh, mm-hmm. You may have seen some some of it posted on the Instagram page. So we'll get yeah. to that in a little bit. But let me just talk about the games I bought. So first of all, and, and I guess I got to be honest with you, I didn't check. You're ever- no, no, I don't know if maybe you've picked this up for me already from Japan. Um, but nevertheless, I got 
Transformers on Famicom. I thought I did get you that. I don't know. That's why. But if, if I if I didn't get it for you, then I have it. I know I've picked up a copy. All right. I mean, I'll double check. And worse comes to worse, we can uh, yeah. do something with this. But fair um, enough. yes, and this game fun, ridiculously hard. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But it was it was a good trip. So uh, okay. yeah, so, a mystery of convoy, whatever that means. Okay. All right. This I picked up uh, <laughs> as a big sticker says one of Jay's picks from um, Game On, and my buddy Mario, who's been on the show a couple of times. Um, Mario. Yes, Sorry. that one very much. He <laughs> snuck out of the house and took a six hour flight. Which, by the way, I just want to point out as I've been packing, um, I packed him last night. Then <laughs> how did he get out? Wait, did you take him out? No. Hmm. Mr. Marbles? Uh, <laughs> that wouldn't shock me, in all honesty. I think, well, I think at some point, I think I'm living in a Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Is the one with the books and then his glasses finally break at the end? No, no. It's either it's either the one with the ventriloquist dummy or with uh, Talking Tina. <laughs> I know the ventriloquist one. I don't think I've ever saw the Talking Tina one. <laughs> the one with the talking doll with Tally Savalas? Oh, no. I don't think I've seen that. I mean, not that I saw him, but I knew that's all like the one. Of the, one. That, that's like the most iconic one. Oh, then maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting the two with confused. The talking then. doll? Maybe. A, yeah. yeah I don't know, I was, I'm not well, that's, like a, that. that's okay. <laughs> so I asked Mario. I'm like, because Mario knows more about Genesis. He's more into the Genesis system. Okay. And I'm like, you know, get... Give me a couple of sleeper hits, mm-hmm. as I like to call them. Games that went under the radar. And he picked out a couple, which I looked up uh, gameplay on them, and they look really fun. The first one is RoboCop versus Terminator. Ooh. And it's got a pick for the store, too. On Genesis. Yes, that's what I was saying. This is Jay's Jay pick, pick mm-hmm. on the Genesis. Very nice. So I'm looking forward to, to playing that one. And then this one I definitely am uh, unfamiliar with, but he said it's a good one. It's a game called... Target Earth. Oh, hmm. I don't know that one. Target Earth. It's got some like side scrolling uh, bits to it. Focus, focus. Uh, so, uh, but it's got probably, I have to say, and this is not a reprint that the store did, probably one of the lamest uh, um, stickers for a cartridge. Oh, wow. I mean, it's almost is- like paint, a paint by number. That's in, yeah, that's insanely simple. Yeah, they just it's just printed uh, on regular printer. <laughs> someone someone's budget ran out. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally what I purchased, and Anthony you'll get a kick out of this one, uh slowly building my Sega C D collection. Ooh. Spider Man. Oh, this is the Kingpin. Oh no. Do I have that? Uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna fight. As Ant's gonna check. I'm gonna fight and I you. I believe this is a take on the Genesis Spider Man. I believe you are correct. Okay, do they have another copy of that? And it's got uh, CD quality music and audio featuring... Yeah, dude, I, I don't have that. Uh-oh. Nice. All right, give me. Original 3D animations. I, Larry, I think it was very kind of you to get me a wedding <laughs> gift. <laughs> I didn't even know you were moving until a little while ago. <laughs> Lies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and then there's... Oh, uh, the yes. With the foam. With the foam. I love it. So, yeah, find out if they have another copy. Uh, they. Pr- I don't think they do. <laughs> I will yeah, inquire. Please do. Well, where are they going to ship it? Uh, TBD. Oh, okay, fair enough. Taking care. Oh. Oh. No, TBD. Not, oh, TBD. Not TCB. Not, not TCB. Okay. <laughs> no. PCK. Get that right. But those are those, those are some really good purchases. Yes. Um, I have not been purchasing anything lately because I'm you know preoccupied. Oh, you purchasing but... moving boxes? That's about it. Yeah, I, yeah, that's pretty much what I have been doing. But you know, but the, but what's interesting though is that going through the whole packing, you know, experience all over again, and look, you know, packing all of my old games. It's like I'm looking at all these go- old games, and I'm like, or these retro games. And it's like I've bought so many of these since our podcast started. Yes, and have yet to play them. So it's you know, so no, no, I understand that. But what I'm saying is like. I have all of these, and it's like I want to make more of a point. Obviously, after this move, mm-hmm. to like if I buy a game, I need to sit down and play it, not just buy it and say like, okay, I have it now. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to start going back into the collection um, and buying it. And you know what? And I'm sorry, this I'm sorry, this episode may be kind of a little scatter shot for me because I'm, 
my brain is kind of like that right now. <laughs> but it just no no, but it just gave me another thought because I'm thinking about all these Sega CD games and PlayStation games and stuff I bought, and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play them when the Poly Mega comes out. And the Poly Mega dro- uh, delivery date was supposed to be this week. Yeah, week of the six. It was supposed to and be July. Been, yeah, and they've been dead silent. No, if you because on Walmart's website, yeah, I think it said like July fifth or sixth or something like that. In fact, I'm gonna look it up. Oh, right really? Now. Yeah. So let me let me see if I can find it. Poly Mega. Um, Poly Mega, yeah. Item ships by July sixth. Okay. Well, we're website. we're not there yet. I mean, I I, I wonder if that okay. has to do with I. No, I'm pretty sure they started arriving. I thought I saw something on their Instagram page. Let me go to no, this no, no. I, I've heard about all of that, but what I'm saying is like I've yet to hear. No, I agree with from you. Poly Mega directly saying, "Hey, everybody." Your systems that you paid for two years ago, three years ago, whenever it was, are finally on the way. Yeah, yeah. their last, I mean, their last post was actually May on uh, Instagram, so. Yeah, exactly. So what gives? I don't oh, know. Some gotta, weird, me, meanwhile, uh, a lot of news is coming out with the Atari VCS, and they're actually ready to ship. Well, really? I mean, they're going to be ready to ship. The, supposedly, um uh, for those backers on Indiegogo and pre-orders, which is what I did, we should be right. getting them in October. And anyone who's ordered it, because right now the pre-order is live on GameStop for the VCS, uh, right. those should ship holiday of 2020. Okay. So that should be, honestly, actually, now that I think about it, that should be coming out. I should be getting oh. that in October. The Intellivision uh, Amico is supposed to be coming out also in October. Uh, okay. Yeah, the Polymega was supposed to come out two, uh, two years update. ago. Oh, here we go. This is funny. What'd you find it? When the mo- No, no. All the module sets on Walmart still have a ship date of July 6th. Yeah. But the base unit that's up for three ninety nine on Walmart now has a ship date of November 12th. Okay. Well, it's some- at least it's still in 2020. Yeah, but still, I mean, but, all right. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, my patience is wearing thin <laughs> with these guys. But look what happened, you know, with the uh, uh, with the Turbo Graphic Mini. You know, it got pushed to January, but it ended That's up being true. that was more like a temporary date. So it, we may get it sooner. You, you never know. You know, it, well, with everything that's ha- moving, with everything that's happening in the world. I mean, I got a pop vinyl that that Australian pop vinyl is shipping from Australia, and wow. it was. It was last scanned June twelfth, and it was waiting to be shipped out. Like there's like a mm. there was like a two week waiting period or something before they even shipped it to the U S. Now it's somewhere, uh. ironically, stuck somewhere in uh, Los Angeles. But um, oh, I'll pick it up for you. <laughs> so yeah, so that in all fairness, they may be hindered by by shipping requirements at this point. Yeah. Um, which but still be that stinks. As it, be but... that as it may, getting back to my original point, like if we're buying games, like now I'm like making a point. It's like you know what I got to play. It. Like I packed up my Turbo Graphics 16 Mini mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yesterday, and I'm like, oh, I was like, you know, I played it that one day for the live stream, and then I kind of put it aside. I'm like, no, I was like, you know, I waited forever for this one because I really wanted to play the games on the Turbo yeah. Graphics, so I want to go back to that. All right, fair enough, and that's what yeah. we and we'll get to that. Like to me, it's always like the feelings, always like peaks and valleys. Yeah, you know, you, you get really into it, then you back off. Especially with us at this point in our lives. Look, when we yes. were kids, obviously we had all pretty much all the time in the world, so mm-hmm. we could dedicate a full day of game playing, whether it was on our own or with friends. Right. Uh, you know, at this point, yeah, you know, a full day of gaming feels like a day wasted. Admittedly, not hey. a, not in a bad way. <laughs> just you know, when you hit ugh, when you hit your forties. Um, you know, it just, other priorities come up, mm-hmm. you know, now I'm waking up at 6 a.m. on a regular basis and I don't yeah, like see, that more, but, but see, for me, that's more time to game. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know, uh, but, but that's, what's good though. You know, once you move to wherever you're going and you start to unpack, I mean, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know, like, are you going, and I'm not asking you to answer, I'm just saying, are you going into an apartment, are you going into a home, a condo, a hostel, do you have the room to be able to set up, like, a dedicated, like, do you, let me ask you this, and it's not giving anything away, but if you have, like, an extra bedroom, Mm -hmm. do you plan on making, like, a game room or something like that? Oh, of course, Okay, all right. 
you know, I, I would definitely want an office. Mm-hmm. So, and in said office would probably would be the game room. All right, fair enough. Yep. Oh, I, just, I just got a thing from Game On. Uh, they updated their. Uh, they just posted a pic on Instagram, and holy cow, they got oh, so you're many. Going ba- you, so you're going back? No, they got so many box games came in, including systems. Holy hell! Ooh, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to take a look at that later. Oh man, a box uh, Game Boy? Son of a gun! All right. Well, anyway. Oh. Speaking but, of which, though, Game yes. On. Uh, now these I don't have because there's not a snowball's chance in hell I'm gonna be purchasing these things. But within the last couple of weeks. Game On came across some, I mean, rare gems. Stuff Mm -hmm. I didn't even know were still available. Something I didn't even know was made. And something I thought I'd never see with my own two eyes. So what what they did was, and, um, you know, for the, uh, so, Ant, you may want to jot this down if you have time. Um, Maybe we can put up some pictures of these things. Mm -hmm. Um the first one is this, and I'll send you the pictures of this one. It's an N64 test cartridge. Mm-hmm. Um, did you actually see these? Did I send these to you, or did you check out the, the Instagram I, page? No, I checked them out on Instagram, and okay. the images, I, yeah, and so I did see them. Okay, all right. So the N64 test cartridge. Uh, I don't, actually, the guys that game on, I think, are really not 100% sure what it was used for. Um, oh, it all it is, yeah, all it is is a straight up um, N64 cartridge. Mm-hmm. It says on the front of it, Nintendo 64 test cartridge. Um, but what's weird is on the top of it is some sort of connector, which no one really is aware of what connects to it. Hmm. It's a, uh, it's like almost looks like you know, like one of these, um, like an old school printer connector. Okay. I mean, I could try. I'm, I'm trying to send these to you, actually, even as we speak. You can send them. What I'm going to do is use the lovely internet. Uh, yeah, you better to... just go to our retro gamer page. You'll see them. No, 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 not even that. Just to look up a test cartridge to see what it oh. was. Yeah, I, tr- I even tried looking it up. I just couldn't. So let me just send this to you real quick. Um, do, 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 filler, 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 filler. All right, here they come. Um, so yeah, it's very, it's very odd. And this, you know, they pride themselves on on mm-hmm. knowing their stuff. And again, I'm not. This isn't their fault or anything like that. It's just I've just never seen anything like it. I just I just sent it to you through uh, through Facebook. No, and I'm looking at it. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm assuming what the um, the pins on the top are. Um, I'm assuming that they that would hook up to like um, a computer or something like that. Probably it's the only thing, and then there's a little red light on the front. I guess it just means yeah. if it's working or not. Um, but yeah, very very interesting. I think it's pricey. I do not know that. I did not discuss price I with can, them. I can tell you right now on OfferUp.com, somebody sold one of these cartridges for twelve hundred dollars. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Fair enough. Um, um, just so give me a minute, and I find the answer. <laughs> so here's the next one, which I think is just phenomenal. This one you can look up just to get better pictures of. They came across an NES test station. Yes, I now, have seen this before. Yes. Now the NES test station. What happened was back in the '80s, you were like, if you were like a electronics store or, or a hardware mm-hmm. store or something, you actually were able to hook up with Nintendo to become an official repair shop. Like nowadays, you crack your iPhone screen and there's a hundred places to go to, but none of them are official. Like, you know, right. your warranty is out the, out the window. But, you know, during the 80s, they had these official repair shops where, yeah, you went there and it's basically like Nintendo fixing your system. Like Ant, when you had the issue with the Switch, yep. instead of mailing it away... And waiting mm-hmm. for it to come back could have gone to the store that would have done something to it, and, and it would have been legitimate. Right. So they came across... There was a store somewhere on Long Island. I can't remember where. I want to say it was somewhere on Nassau. And uh, it, I think the sign is so old, it actually still had, like, original Nintendo repair shop mm-hmm. still on, like, burnt into the sign from the sun. Or nice. I should say faded away. And um, so someone, I guess, asked, you know, told Game On about it, and they went over to inquire, and the guy's like, yeah, you know, we kind of had this for a while, just wasn't doing anything with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so 
they talked and 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 they were able to acquire this piece of equipment which includes the original screen the original monitor as well which which is, this, awesome. which is so old that it was you know it has everything mm-hmm. burnt into it and apparently there's a story behind it where like just a decade ago this place had a ton more like like rare nintendo stuff but i guess mm-hmm. back then they were trying to like get rid of just get rid of stuff so someone just kind of came and was like yeah i'll take it and just kind of okay. like they don't even think they sold it or anything they just, they just gave it to someone and they just went away with it so nice but this test kit and what was cool about the test repair uh you put a game card in it tested the game card it would it would individually test the rf switch the av cables the power cord it, it was just very cool to to see in person and i got to try it out a little bit um with the controller you plug a red it had four different tests um okay things the nes controller you could test the zapper rob the robot and the power pad Nice. And with the controller, you got it plugged in. If you, when you hit each button, the little light comes up on the screen. And there's also like a kind of like a speed test where when you rapidly hit the button, this little mm-hmm. gauge starts going up on the screen. Uh, no one could get it past four bars. I tried, and I thought I had quick thumbs, but I wasn't fast enough. But <laughs> you know, try and get it past that. Okay. Again, piece of equipment. I don't know, Ant. You're probably looking it up as we speak. How much one sold for? Uh, no, and well... For I the mean, record, it's... let me just say, these prices we're talking about, uh, we don't know when they were sold. I don't know if Game On is selling this, and I can I am not guaranteeing or saying how much they will sell it for. So, if you want, you can contact Game On on your own. Uh, yeah, at, so, NES test issue. Yeah, at Game On Miller Place uh, on Instagram. But yeah, no, we're not we're not selling anything for it. No, uh, these are and again, these are just things that we're just looking up yeah. for the heck of it. But um, to see one and to take a picture with it, it's really cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, trust me, I wish I could take a picture of it without the stupid mask on, so you can actually see me smile and actually uh, see the joy on my face. Let's see. In two thousand, wow! In two thousand eleven, somebody bought one on eBay for seven hundred bucks. Okay, so that was nine years ago. That was nine years ago, and as we know, things only go up in price. Things only go up in price yeah. because while I've been looking for stuff, I just wanted to run through because you were talking about the N sixty four test cartridge. Um, I found a list of the top ten rarest N sixty four games and how much they're worth in oh. February of this year. So I'm gonna just run through these really yeah, yeah. quickly because you may have one or two. I know I have one of them. Oh, okay. And I didn't realize it. Uh, and again, I don't know if this is complete or just a cartridge itself. I'm assuming mm-hmm. it's just a cartridge itself because complete would be a lot. Oh, more in money. box, but yeah. Yeah, so uh, so top 10. Um, Turok Rage Wars, the gray cart, okay. goes for about 400 bucks. Okay, yeah, I don't have that. Uh, WCW Backstage Assault gray cart <laughs> goes for about 300 bucks. No one should have that. <laughs> well, that's why. The, it only sold 200,000 yeah. units. So the rarity. Right. And it came out right before WCW got purchased yep. by WWE. That's the game so, that has no ring. That's the one without the ring. Yeah, but three hundred bucks for that one. Okay. Uh, the Pokemon Stat Snap, not for resale version, Ooh. is three hundred bucks. I know a friend of mine um, specifically seeks out those not for resale cartridges. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, one particular cartridge of this sold for nine hundred bucks. Oh, there you go on eBay. So it's going up. You never know. Uh, the international version of Yoshi Story goes between three and five hundred. I've heard about that one. I don't have it, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, Worms Armageddon goes for four to six hundred. Weird. <laughs> Bomberman sixty four: The Second Attack goes for four to seven hundred. Never got into that series. Me neither. Uh, Stunt Racer 64, anywhere between two and 700. Interesting. Yep. Uh, Super Bowling. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it came out right before the N64 basically went away. Uh, five to 1300. Wow. Yep. And then uh, the Major- Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, not for resale gray cartridge, a thousand bucks. Oh, man. Okay. And last but not least, whoa. Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut, I th- which was an updated version of Clay Fighter 63 and a third. I'm pretty sure, was it like a, does it say anything about being a Blockbuster exclusive? This was a Blockbuster okay. rental exclusive, meaning yep. it could not be purchased. As a result, it's arguably the rarest N64 game in existence. Um, The complete edition 
typically runs between $2,500 and $3,000. However, in February of this year, one copy sold for $14,500. That's got to be with some – well, there's no box, but there's got to be something to do with it. That had to have been in a box. But if it's a if it's a blockbuster exclusive, why would it come in a box? That's a good point. Well, you still need a box, I guess, to put out on the well, show. That's true. Yeah, still. But Ooh, wow, baby, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. that's nuts. Fun yeah, I don't stuff. need those. Nope. So uh, you're better off getting an NES test station. I really am. That point, I'm gonna. And you know what? I'm better off getting a test station than this other item because who knew that on Long Island this mm-hmm. even existed. Uh-oh. The the cartridge of all NES cartridges. Oh yes, I saw this. The thing. rarest of the rare. Yep. They game on came across, and this they are selling. I don't know if it's sold at the time that we're recording, mm-hmm. but serious inquiries only. Yep. But they have a copy of Stadium Events, which is insane. Which is mind blowing. Yeah. Because that's know, a game that go, can that has gone for up to like thirty five grand. Forget about, it. and that's in box. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, this is yeah. not in box. This is just the cartridge. But still, but uh, just the fact that they had it, you know, he, he the the owner of the store, Tristan, was on Instagram, and he's like, you know, off to buy the most expensive game Game On has ever purchased. And I know they've had, I think they had like one other Sega CD game in stock. That was a lot of money. I can't remember the name. I think it was called like Klonda or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so stadium events was nowhere in my mind. It's one of those games. It's like, that's the go-to answer, but you know, it's, it shouldn't be the answer. Right. Like to the question, we're off to buy the most expensive game we ever bought. So I forgot what I even said. What it probably was. I did throw out like an option, but I can't remember. Um, so he then put pictures up. And it's stadium event. And I'm like, how in the heck? Like, wh- yeah, where, who, where, how, why? Who is huh? just, just keeping this in their house? Mm-hmm. And I don't know all the details behind it. I don't know any pricing. Even if I did, I wouldn't share it. But he definitely purchased it and tested it because I didn't get a chance to play it. But he tested it. It is a legitimate copy. Uh, I have a picture of it on the Retro Gamers Instagram page at Retro Gamers Podcast. And I got to say, the cartridge itself is dang near in pristine condition. Wow. It, it, it looks beautiful, the cartridge. I, I'm, I'm going to send a picture to Anthony of the actual cartridge itself. And um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm sure if you put a microscope to it, you're going to find something. But... Um, Everybody always does. It's like it's like when you send like a card away and like, oh, it's slightly mm-hmm. off centered. What are you talking about? Yep. Oh, you needed a micrometer to figure it out. So I'm going to send that to Ant just Thank to check you. out the uh, the card itself. Which, and I did see the pictures you posted. Yeah. Oh my god. And yeah, and, beautiful. and it's beautiful. And I literally kind of made a trip out there. I'm like, I'm not buying this, but I want to take a picture with it. And he's I'm like, surprised sure. you didn't buy it. <laughs> I'd be out a few months' rent. I know that. Mm-hmm. Be like, Mom. <laughs> That's something you don't put on the credit card. <laughs> it's like cash only with a dollar sign on the on the sack of money. Um, I got to say, you know, I've met celebrities. I've met wrestling icons, in my opinion. You know, I've met some amazing people. But stadium event had to be the coolest thing I've ever met in person. Like, I wanted to dip it in ink and just stamp it on a piece of paper, just the bottom part of it, just, like, technically oh, like an autograph. I did not. Um, but just to be able to hold it, mm-hmm. to be able to take the picture with it. Again, I wish I wasn't wearing a mask because I want the glow on my face was ridiculous, and I couldn't breathe. But with the... Oh, with the Just having the cartridge in my... it's. It's hard to explain. I know a lot of people out there are like, would you shut up? It's a piece of plastic. It's a video game. But there's just something about it with that cartridge. That is, I'm never going to see that cartridge again in person. Yeah. Well, look, we're, we're, we are, um, you know, we're video game enthusiasts mm-hmm. um, and we're collectors. So that's, a, it's a big deal for us. You know, it's the, it's the same feeling I have when, uh, it's the same feeling I had when I got uh, a copy of Avengers number one. 
exactly. You, you're right. That, that is exactly right. You got that for Christmas, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. That yeah. was it. That, well, that was it. that was a gift I, I bought myself. No, that's awesome. That's and, I, and, yeah, and it's not a great copy either. I mean, it's a low, it's a low grade copy. I'm like, but, but I remember when that showed up, mm-hmm. I couldn't have been happier. Yeah, it's it's a copy. That's you know, bottom line, it's a copy. Yeah. Um, so you know, if you ever get a chance, like. Ooh, I know you were at a couple years ago, you were at one of, I think like the SoCal or something. And I remember you were sending me like pictures of some of the games that they had for sale, like at an auction. Yeah. Like, Oh like, yeah. That, yeah. The um, heritage auctions that, no, that yeah. was at, um, that was at uh, either WonderCon or uh, Comic-Con. Oh, oh, one of the other ones. Oh, yeah. probably San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was year, San yeah. Diego um, last year. Yeah. Um, and like those prices, I, to me, I think are jacked anyway. Um, some of them were just ridiculous. Yeah. But, the auction prices that were yeah, like 4,000, 5,000. Please. For like Super Mario Brothers, look, I get it. It's sealed. Okay. Fine. First run, but whatever. But yeah, this, you got to remember with Super Mario Brothers, that was a first run game that purchased in store. No, and, correct. And that's why, that's why it's rare because most Nintendo um, systems came with it. No, you're exactly right. But I'm just saying, like, just that that price, yeah. it's, like, crazy. But this game, Stadium Events, what? Like, only a couple of thousand were made before it was renamed. Mm-hmm. That's the whole thing. The yeah. game is out there. It was just eventually renamed. And it's the Stadium Events is the original name. And that's what really causes the hoopla and causes the, 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 the price to be what it is. And whatever they sell it for, I know for it's going to be worth it and it's mm-hmm. very rare where i say that buying a game for thousands of dollars is worth it but right. this one i would say is worth it okay if you uh, and i can understand that because yeah. ter- again we're talking about a, an ultra rare game mm-hmm. you know it's like any other collectible out there you know the fewer there are the more it's worth and this is just one of this is one of those totally like i'm just looking at like my collection now, I can't even think of the probably the quote unquote rarest. I don't think I have any like real gems short of Shining Force Three is probably the only one. Yeah, I mean, I would say the rarest one I have is Shining Force Three. Um, I can't think of. Um, and you're one up on me with Shining Force Three because you got the actual book with it. I just have the CD with yep. the with the with the box itself. I yeah. need the book. So no, I would I would probably agree with you on that because um, unless. Uh, Unless any of the games that I have um, shot up in value, that would be mm-hmm. the one. Yeah. So, you know, and I'm still searching out. If anyone has the instruction booklet for Shining Force 3, right. let me know. But other than that, uh, come on. Oh, I can never put these back when I'm, on, when, I'm on, when I'm recording. Yeah, and we can hear you complaining about it, too. <laughs> what the deuce. Oh, well. But uh, yeah, so I was very happy, and and at that point, I'm like, you know what, I'm I'm good to go you know, as far as just these gems. Is I don't think oh, oh on you Etsy got? you can get a custom printed manual for sixteen fifty. Please send me that link because at this point I that probably, way at least you have it. Yeah, I'll have something. I'm good with that. Yep. Watch yeah. it come like full like eight eight and a half by eleven paper. But I will point out also while I'm doing this again, this is a very you know our episodes being very random. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but the you remember the the Japanese versions that I picked up? Yes, I got them somewhere. I got them right yeah, here. Yeah, because there were because Shining Force Three was broken into three discs in Japan because they had three different scenarios. We only got Scenario One. Yep. But um, on eBay, you can people are selling those the Japanese ones mm-hmm. for up to like three hundred bucks individually or altogether. Uh, let's see. Individually, they're like a hundred and change. Um, brand new ones, three twenty-five. So I got so, them right here. I don't know what order they're in. I may not have these in the correct order, and only right. one of them is open. The other two are factory sealed. Yep. So there's one of them. Yep. Uh, that one, I don't know which one. That yeah, is. I don't that know which. Part, that was part two. That was part two. That that one is part. Which part is that? Uh, well, here's the I'm other one. To... Maybe that'll help you. Yeah. Uh, I think that one's part three. So this would be three. I think so. All right. Yeah. Three, so one, two, probably. Yes, that is correct. That one was part three. Okay. So there you go. 
Yeah, so, uh, so I'll put those back later. And I'm um, very happy I have those. I just wish they would have translated the other two. And I guarantee you somebody online probably oh, I'm sure. they translated them. Absolutely. So. In fact, I kind of just re- I just learned recently that the Shining Force CD game on Sega CD, which yeah. I also have, really is more of the Game Gear ports, if I heard it correctly. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Which, then I don't know why I spent so much money on them, but whatever. Well, because it's uh, rare. That it is. Especially when on eBay, Shining Force CD uh, sealed right now. Somebody's got somebody's got it up for eight hundred bucks. Oh wow! Not bad. I bought that. Oh wait, did I buy that one? I think I bought that one on 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 eBay. Yeah. So I don't know if it works. Or you can buy the European version for two grand. Ooh, I think I'll hold off on that one. I really should bring these CD games to Game On just to make sure they work. Now that I think about it, that might not be a bad idea. I mean, the ones I buy from them, I know work, but I gotta, yeah. I gotta try out the other thing. Eh, whatever. I can, uh, I can test them on my JVC XI. Yes, you gotta hook that up. That I don't yes. know why you haven't hooked up yet. I had it hooked up for a little while, and then I, and then I packed it away because <laughs> I, I was, I just wasn't using it. Uh, also, enough. because you know, um, I, uh, I basically been only playing stuff that I could hook up through HDMI. Well, you get those Hyperkin. Uh, yeah. Didn't you buy yeah, one when you were here? Not for Sega CD. Oh. What'd you buy for? I don't remember. <laughs> All right. No, uh, N64. I oh, okay. N64 All right. No, they got it for almost everything now. So Yeah. And they work, people. So definitely check yeah. those out. Well, you know, when I when I move to my new place, I'll be able to hook everything up. Yes. I'll have, a new, I'll have a new setup. You'll have to get two TVs. Put them side by side. Yes. One for <laughs> HDMI and one for not. <laughs> yes. My next, you know, is, is my. I think my next go to now is going to be Atari. Mm-hmm. But I like. First of all, I didn't even realize that you can mod an Atari system, not to H. Well, I'm, I'm sure someone out there has, but I'm sure inexpensively, you can mod it to AV. Maybe not HDMI, okay. but AV. I was thinking about buying the Hyperkin Retron seventy seven. Okay, but it only plays twenty six hundred games. Which, don't get me wrong, that's like, that's Atari to me. It's right. like those really, really old ones. But, like, if I get a 7800, A, I, I, I get that library, but it's also backwards compatible with the 2600 games. Mm-hmm. So, I'm debating back and forth. Um, that's kind of my next possible go-to purchase. Atari, okay. start collecting those, and if I do go Atari... Do I stick with 2600, just get the, the Retron 77, which I'm fine with, or maybe try and find a, a modded uh, 7800? So, Because those systems were fairly massive. Well, the 5600 was a beast, yeah. but 7800s were big, too. So honestly, that's that's my next thing right now. I'm not saying it's happening yeah. tomorrow, but if you know me, it's probably going to happen tomorrow. But that's that's what I'm going through now. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, can I help you? <laughs> that, oh, I didn't even see. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> He's like, uh, "Where yeah. is every?" She's like, "Where is my, everything?" My cat. Yeah, my cats have been freaking out since <laughs> I started packing. <laughs> they have no idea what's going on. Is they wondering when they're going in the box? Well, they're they're uh, they're, they're carrying cases are out. <laughs> so I want them to get used to them because they're going to be in them for a while. Do you? Do you uh, just let them run loose in the car? Well, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Well, can you turn the cat around, please? Uh, no, that's <laughs> that is terrible. That's what she wants to show us. <laughs> want to show this? Here you go. Look. That's yeah. that's what yeah. she thinks of the podcast. That's what she thinks of our podcast, right? Is that what you think of our podcast? It's so you. rude, absolutely okay. rude. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, I think with that we. Uh, and do you have anything else to, to talk about? Because I gotta, I do have a barbecue. I gotta get ready for. No, I, I really don't because I'm so. And I and I apologize that. No, I'm, don't. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I, I just apologize because I'm very, I'm just a, very distracted with everything going on. This is kind of been, this was a, this has been a, a kind of a whirlwind situation where mm-hmm. everything has happened in the span of this week. Yeah, um, that's and I don't, and I don't have a lot of time to go. No worries. Uh, to pack up and leave. So, uh, so yeah. So no, uh, that is everything that I have as far as I can think of. I'm mm-hmm. trying to think what else. Um, what else is going on? Video game related. I'm sure there's another. I'm sure there are a ton. By the way, of July Fourth sales. Um, on oh, probably, PS4, yeah. Xbox One, and stuff like that. So I would keep an eye out on those. Um, oh, uh, there is one thing, and I have to actually, I have it in my cart on PS4 because Rich told me about this this week. Okay. He said, don't forget to pick up Broforce. And um, Broforce. Oh, I think I have that. Yeah. So Broforce is on sale right now for like 
four. Eight dollars oh. and seventy four cents. And it's like a sixteen bit Contra like game. Mm-hmm. Um so I'm gonna oh, be no, picking that do. up this weekend. I have the ch- I have Blazing Chrome, which is also a Contra clone, but I gotta yeah. check out Broforce. But right. if you look, at, it's funny because if you look at Broforce, like if you look at the cover of the game, because that's what I did. I just looked at the mm-hmm. cover of the game and I started laughing because it looks like um, Rambo, Sylvester Stallone <laughs> is Rambo, and then um, sure you not looking at Contra? No, no, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Commando. And then a third character who looked to me looks like Zangief from uh, Street Fighter. Um, <laughs> but it's the three of them on the cover. And then it's got like a, uh, it's got, it's got, the logo's got a bald eagle, but yes. it's got big muscle arms. I saw that. I like that. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look, yeah, wow. Broforce. I didn't realize. Yeah, no, I've seen the logo. I love the logo, Bro Force. Yeah, the, lo- the, the logo is great, but it's a side scroller like Contra and it runs like Contra. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab a copy of that this weekend for yeah, you know four what? bucks. I don't think I have this. So yeah, it looks like I'll be picking that up as well. Yeah. So, uh, Sweet. but uh, yeah, outside of that, that's pretty much all I have for this all week, right. unfortunately. Maybe next week I'll have okay. some. More news, or um, or you just won't see me. Fair enough. So uh, Mario, Mario will just be sitting in the seat, and you'll have no idea where I am. I'm just like dead on the floor. I have a piranha plant. There you go. And I can make something out of those too. Yes, I'm sure you can. All right, folks. So with that being said, we're going to wrap this one up. Go out, play American Gladiators, maybe on the NES. Play roller games. It's another great american game uh oh, any- yeah the all the great american games play play some desert strike play yes. some call of duty the world war ii know. ones yeah yes. world war II one, whichever yeah whichever whichever american game strike your fancy it, you know <laughs> and of course independence day that way of course baseball ken griffey jr baseball. presents major league baseball my favorite there you go whatever and, it is um yeah so with that again happy birthday american i do want to give this is a bit uh uh uh, selfish of me, but I do want to just mention this real quick, that July 4th is not only the independence of America, but it's also the independence of my mother. She retires officially today, yes, July 4th. congrats to your mom. That's yeah. an amazing yes. accomplishment. Uh, God. And I can't think of somebody who deserves it. Oh my, well, well, now she's living with my father, who's also retired, so we gotta, we'll see if the, if the, if that was a mistake or not. Oh, <laughs> so, man. <laughs> now the two of them are retired. Happy retirement and divorce. No, yes. <laughs> uh, I may be in trouble now that the two of them are retired. Yeah, but, I um, wish you the best of luck. I'm assuming you're going <laughs> there for 4th of July. No, so. uh, no actually, no, we kind of, I went last Last week, so we did some stuff. They're, they're doing some stuff this week, but um, um, just you know, just real quick, I just want to say you know, over forty years in the nursing uh, uh, calling that she had. Mm-hmm. Trust me when I tell you, I wish she was able to go out in completely different circumstances than what she had to go through. Yeah, but there was no one better than her, and you know, it's just I'm very happy that she still was able to finish up. And uh, congratulations, Mom. So enjoy. And uh, now I can also find out if you actually do listen to these episodes all the way through. So, <laughs> uh, Yeah, because you'll, you'll, you'll either get a message or just silence. Something. Something like that. Like, gee, thank, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I, can, I can say 100% for certain nobody in my family listens to these episodes <laughs> at all. So I can pretty much say whatever I want about it. <laughs> all right, folks. Enjoy your barbecues. Enjoy your fireworks. Enjoy all your digits. Uh, and good luck with everything. And uh, I guess very much. we may or may not see you next week. We'll see what happens. Uh, uh, chances are good you'll see me next week. Fair After enough. that, maybe not so much. All righty. And folks, we will catch you right here next week on the Retro Gamers Podcast. Mm-hmm.